So we're at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, and uh, the thing that amazes me about this is that this is the world's largest collection of scientists and engineers. So right now at Goddard, we're building the James Webb Space Telescope, which is kind of the follow-on to the Hubble Space Telescope, except the mirror is nearly seven times larger than Hubble's. And it's all about the amount of light you can collect when it comes to astronomy. You can see farther, you can see fainter things. So everything from seeing little planets around other stars in the sky to actually seeing the very first stars turn on about 13 billion years ago. This telescope is powerful enough to see that far away that the light took 13 billion years to get to us. It's amazing. Light has a speed limit, the speed of light. And so you know, the farther you look out into space, the further you're looking back to time. The photons emitted by some of these earliest objects are just now reaching us. So as the universe has expanded, the very space in between the galaxies, light left that galaxy and now as a wave, it's making its way across. This is kind of mind blowing. The only thing in the universe that can make an atom of carbon or the, the iron in my blood that makes you know, your blood red is iron. The only thing that makes that is a star. Those atoms have to be made in the interior of a star. And then that star dies, blows up and distributes all this wonderful material into the galaxy that eventually forms new stars, new planets. And that's how it actually got into your body. So, you know, we wouldn't be here if stars didn't blow up. So to me, that's really what we're studying in astrophysics. I mean, you ever ask the question, you know, why am I here? How did I get here? We can look back in time to when there was nothing but hydrogen, a little bit of helium. And now everything around us is so different. We want to see that entire story and the James Webb Telescope will be able to have a ringside seat at every single chapter of that story. Uh, I think I'm now sort of most excited about what Webb will tell us about exoplanets. It's the first facility that should be able to tell us uh, about the habitability of uh, Earth-like planets around other stars. It won't really be able to detect life, but it could say that this is a planet that has an atmosphere that would be capable of supporting life. This project was started in the fall of 1995. In October of 2018, uh, less than, you know, it's a little more than a year from now, it's going to launch uh, and take its million mile journey uh, out four times farther than the moon to begin its observations.